you do your headlines, and then I'll give to the end of a weekend. And also, I mean, Richard and Sal are driving that Tradio guy crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's one of my uh, news headlines. Yeah, what is it? Well, you know, Richard started calling Tradio, making the prank calls almost 10 years ago. Right. And uh, he, it was a Christmas tradition. He'd go back home when he was living in Florida and call into Tradio. So he's at a local bar and blabbing, mm. blabbing away about all his prank calls. Sure enough. The word gets to Tradio that it's Richard who's doing it. So they call his parents thinking it's a young kid <laughs> yeah. saying, you know, your kid better stop calling, uh, you know, Tradio making these prank calls. And his parents said, well, you know, my son's 27 years old. So, yes, I will tell him <laughs> <Right>. to stop. <laughs> yeah, we'll give him a call over there in New York City. Yeah. How old is your son? 47. <laughs> your young son was in a bar bragging. <laughs> uh, here, well, I'll show you they are driving this guy crazy you know the the original host guy and yeah, well, i think chose that yeah i think they're actually making his show interesting because you're learning that he's a christian and the audience is all up in arms about richard and sal and <laughs> this one uh this one uh sal starts it off and he first is trying to sell a shvuggy buzzer <laughs> <laughs> quality item so they just drive this guy nuts. And, you know, he's such a, a professional announcer, this guy. You know, he's so like this mm -hmm. that he he's almost dropped all of that now. He's becoming a personality because he has to talk about Richard and Sal. And here you go. Let's go to our first caller. Good afternoon. You're caller one on Tradio. You're on the air. God be with you. This is Reverend Arthur Lang. How are you today? <laughs> Fine, preacher. How about you? Well, we have some uh, great arms for sale, uh, one particularly for a small business owner. It's called the Shvoogie Button. Uh, are you familiar with the Shvoogie button? No, I'm not. Okay, well, that, that alerts you when black people come into your store so you can keep an eye on them. <laughs> okay, uh, get it to your caller number two. Um, I have a homemade electric tiller, and I'm asking 800 for it. And remember to pray for the people that call in and uh, don't really know what they're saying. Uh, that, uh, let's, let's do that because uh, uh, God, God will do it with them. In one way or the other. Yes, sir. You sure will. You know, Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. And they don't know what they're doing, are they? I don't think Jesus was talking about tradio people. Right. I think the people who are calling in know what they're doing. Yeah. He was talking about the money changers. <laughs> yes, right. <Ron. laughs> okay. You have a blessed day, sir. You do the same. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. You're calling number three. Hey, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. How about you? Good. I agree with the good reverend. Uh, hopefully the prank calls will, will, will cease eventually. Anyway, uh, I have a uh, signature series, Robin Quivers High Clonics Kit, which includes two gallons of uh, anal cleansing coffee, a sphincter tube, an enema bag, and a used zucchini <laughs> with two sausages that were used in her vagina. Not oh. 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 Yeah, hi. I'm interested oh. in that Robin Quivers uh, High Clonics <laughs> <laughs> okay, good afternoon. You're calling number five. Hello, God bless you, Andy. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How about you? Very good. I have a special edition Aryan Nation starter kit. It comes with shackles, chains, a used noose from Lakewood, Georgia, a grand dragon robe. <laughs> okay, I tell you what, it seems like we're getting kind of all the calls today, aren't we? Good afternoon. You're calling number six. Good afternoon, Andy. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> good, good, thank you. So I got a, a used Lexington steel penis pump. Oh, I'm at. Uh, okay. <laughs> good afternoon. You're calling number seven. Andy. Yeah. How you doing, bud? <laughs> I'm doing okay, I guess. How about you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Boy, the ends of Satan are out today, aren't they? I tell you what, there's got to be a full moon somewhere. That's right. You have a good day, okay? You too, bud. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good afternoon, your caller number eight. Good afternoon, sir. First of all, I rebuke those two pranks in the name of Jesus Christ. You're a good man, Andy, and you don't need to put up with this nonsense. I appreciate that, sir. All right. Secondly, I do have a 12-gauge shotgun that I think I was going to put up for sale, but I might use it for those two fellas if they keep doing this to us. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm tempted to say, let me read it from here. <laughs> uh, I hope that he's getting a whole personality. Really? Andy. He's floor shooting the call. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tempted to sell it right up on you. I think this is giving Andy purpose more than just taking oh trade calls. Oh, my goodness. And we're learning about Christianity and... Yeah, but that's not a very Christian sentiment, no. shooting them. No, that's very Christian. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Infidels.
Good you know, Lord is looking out for them. Uh, uh, okay, now let's get down to business. How much did that fella before want for that penis pump? Uh, uh, sir. Because my pecker is quite small. I can use oh, a good stretching on it. No. Okay. Sucked him right in. Okay, good afternoon. You call number nine. Boy, you sure are hard to get a hold of. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? All right, buddy. Look, I'm looking for uh, anybody out there who went to Western High School. If he had any annuals from, uh, say, 71 to uh, 73, if he'd be interested in selling. I guess he's looking for his yearbook. Oh, my. Annuals, they call them. Oh, I'm her. glad you know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've listened to this a few times. I'm, <laughs> I'm way ahead of you on it. I appreciate you coming. Okay, I appreciate it a lot, buddy. Have a good day. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. You're calling number 10. Hi, Andy. It's Ethel. How you doing? Oh, I'm God. doing great. How about you? Good, good. I'm calling about that feller a while ago that said he went to Western High School looking for the yearbooks. All right. Yeah, I recognize that feller's voice. That was Steve Brandano. I remember <laughs> sucking his pecker at a sock oh, hop yeah, in 1930. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, good afternoon. You call it number 11. Yes, how are you doing? I'm fine. How about you? <laughs> I was doing good till I was riding down the road and listening to the ugly, crazy, mean perverts. So, um, you know, but uh, they, you know, people like that, uh, the Lord will deal with them. Eventually. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, thanks for your call. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. You're calling number 12. <laughs> hey, brother. Hey. Uh, me again. I want to call back and tell y'all, I, we're praying for y'all, brother. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's a shame that, you know, there's a lot of nice, sweet Christian ladies that listen to this station. And and the, 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 there's a shame that they've got to hear that evil stuff. And I want to let y'all know that the, God's on y'all's side, and I'm praying for y'all. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a shame that, that the devil's going to try to his best to... to Problems like that, and God's going to deal with that. Well, I tell you what, it takes uh, 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 prayer, Jane, to uh, uh, to uh, see. He's off the script now. Wow, he's got him rattled. Uh, it takes uh, prayer. It takes prayer, chain. Uh, to, uh, 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 uh. What is a prayer chain? I it think take, a prayer chain, or is he playing prayer Jane? I don't know what he's saying. I don't know, but like, there's a lot of buzzwords. It's Satan, prayer chain. Like, there's a lot of people all speaking the same language in this. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tradio seems to be very yeah. Christian. Yeah. There's a lot of religious underpinnings to the Tradio thing. That's why you can't sell Robin Quiver's colonic pump <laughs> and penis stretcher. Do the, do the job, but I know prayer works, and it's gonna it's gonna happen. You know, you don't mess with God's people, and that's what they're doing. Right. Well, uh, I like, we're trying we're trying to deal with the situation. Um, Amen, and, uh, brother. Bye bye. Bye bye. You don't mess with God's people, like like uh, there's a whole group of God's people. I thought we were all. I God's thought uh, God's people get messed with all the time. No. Yeah. God's people mess with one another. <laughs> Good afternoon, you're calling 13. Well, I've been hearing that about all them, them guys calling in there like that. Right. Uh, kind of got me upset. I'd like to school them. I know God would deal with them, but sometimes here on earth we got to deal with certain things our own way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if they can't be schooled, they will be schooled. Well, let's just let's just be patient about it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, <laughs> I just heard the guy just then, just a minute ago, person and stuff, you know, uh, and it's not right. Well, you know, it, it also, uh, just look, think about it, we're in the last of days where, <laughs> unfortunately, the Christian people are marked people now. I'm, I'm so it's turning into a religious war. The Christian wow. people are marked people, and this is the end of days. Boy, I, this, is like, this is like a Demi Moore movie. I found out what a prayer chain is, by the way. Yeah. It's a network of people who pray. Right. So if we're all in the network, say, like, my Aunt Gladys is sick. No. I'll pray for her. Then I'll call you. You'll call Robin to pray. Robin will call What's with the end of days and the Christians are under attack? Well, there's hardly any Christians left in this country. Dude, that's what it is. It's the end of days. Except for, the, except for the whole rest of the country besides New York and L.A. No. No wonder everyone's <laughs> trading off all their stuff. <laughs> the end of days. There's a lot of buzzwords like, you know. Remember that Demi Moore movie where it was like the seven signs? The seven, uh, yeah. What was no. it? Seven seals? The seven like seal. Yeah. And locusts and <laughs> there's a whole thing going. But this is giving this guy, you know, and, and the audience something to do oh, with they're, they're energized. Yeah. Well, you got to be thanking Richard and Sal. The History Channel, Barack getting an office, the, the History Channel is.
produced a barrage of programs that prove this is the end of the world. Right. Yeah, it does seem like that, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what they've been having yeah. on a lot. With, with Barack in yeah. office? Yeah, Barack is part of the perfect trilogy <laughs> of evil. Sorry to say that, but we are. And uh, I think it's just... Uh, it's just leading up to, you know, just like at leading up to the end of times, and well, we're just going to have to weather the storm. Uh, we'll you, get by this, and uh, just bear with us. And if them guys want to call me, I will educate you. I've not only got God on my side; I got what to call alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Okay. They can call, they can call me anytime they want to. Hey, listen, I appreciate you calling. Let's let's just be patient. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, Andy. Thank you. God bless you. It's safe to get down. Bye bye. Good afternoon. You're couple of 14. Hi, this is Satan. I got you. Hardy, <laughs> hardy, har, har. Uh-uh. And on that. And Gandalf's going to wrap it up for the Tradio. Of course, this has been a uh, rather interesting day of it. Thanks for your telephone calls. I think it's fabulous. <laughs> and on Satan getting us, we'll wrap it up. I'm thinking of getting that, that program on our sh our channels. Try to. I got something called alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Andy. And, and God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a sentence. I will we should educate. do mornings at K-Rock, the new K-Rock. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, what else you got? <laughs> All right. Well, Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> Novak, I hope you're right, buddy. <laughs> uh, Wayne, you're on the air. Good morning, guys. Morning. And lady. I uh, just wanted to say that, that that prank call is the greatest the greatest concept of prank calls there is because his whole show is based on taking calls. You can't put them on a shit list and stop taking calls for three months. No, you, you, the Tradio is reliant on calls. Tradio. <clears throat> Tradio. <laughs> and I'm really interested in the high colonics and the sausages and the cucumbers myself, Richard. If you could <laughs> pass me through to that number, I would very much uh, be interested in purchasing that from you. We'll sell there it you to you directly. Yeah, Richard and Sal have everything for sale. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so what was up with that? You? So I was like, oh, Dr. Ronnie's here. You know, uh, whatever. It's just she's like part of the family now. Are yeah, you? I see her in the kitchen all the time now. It's like she works here. Are uh, you going to continue with your Tradio calls, or was this the end? Was this the uh, oh, penultimate call? Oh, there's, you know, Tradio. A lot of people think Tradio is one show that it's this one station that does it tradio is a common term for that type of radio and it's done all over the country so the resources are limitless so we will definitely be uh doing some more and howard said you started doing these like 10 years ago yeah i actually when i first started working here i gave uh gary and howard a tape of some old ones that i did back in kansas and that's what kind of inspired us to start doing them now is i you know me and sal were listening to some of my really old tradio calls and uh and it was funny because i was well i was in my 20s at the time and it was lisa g said it was me that was bragging at a bar in kansas about it, it was one of my buddies that was in on the calls richard how, how much and, of that story did you, did you tell that whole story on the air this morning about what happened with your friend about him getting called to the office um no not the whole story lisa g told some of it so, but so it, richard it, and his friend got caught right so the guy called up i i guess richard's friend and demand that he come down to the office to talk to him. So Richard's friend went only because he put a microphone on him. And I'm actually, I'm the only, I mean, it's completely illegal. We could never broadcast it. But I heard the guy yelling at, Rich, at Richard's friend. And at one point, at the end, you hear him go, and who the hell is this Richard Christie? <laughs> he goes, the guy's a moron. <laughs> What's he telling your friend? Is he, like, threatening That he, we can have him arrested. Yeah. Which all is ridiculous. If so, if Howard says all the time, if you solicit right. people, what, what am I going to have that guy from Philly arrested? I'm saying call in, except everyone is not a Met fan. <laughs> but we stopped bothering that station in Kansas because... I just, they started calling my parents and, How you know, did they find bugging oh, them. The bar. Everybody knows everybody in the town where well, I grew up. So. Call <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, did, great. it's Richard. Again. We, yeah, we call up and disguise our voices and somehow they didn't know it was I, us. But. I think the, the thing on the Tradio call that really came across to me today is how you guys have really captured, like, the real calls. I needed a few oh seconds my God, yeah. to tell the difference between the real one and the fake one. They're all like, I don't know whether it's reverent. Uh, I just want to say God bless. Like, I can't tell the difference. Well, that's where, like, there's one call um, 
where I called the Yankee Talk guy and just asked about the weather over right. and over. But in Kansas, on that radio show, people really will do that. They'll call up and just talk about the weather and, you know, just discuss things. But Got a long-distance phone call today. <laughs> yeah, things like that. But, you know, some people get annoyed by that, so that's why we do it.